Yo! In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this night vision effect. All right, let's get to it. But first, if you guys want to support me, feel free to check out my store. Right now, there's a coupon code for my VHS pack. If you use the code VHS25, you get 25% off. All right, enough yapping and let's get to it. All right, so first we're going to add Gaussian blur and add the blur radius to 3.2. And we're also going to add fast box blur. And we're going to go ahead and set that to one and click the little box. Next, we're going to add unsharp mask and set the amount to 74. And we're also going to go ahead and change the radius to four. All right, now we're going to add some grain and we're going to change the viewing mode to final output. Next, we're going to turn the intensity down to 0.2. Next, we're going to add wave warp and we're going to change the wave type to smooth noise. And then we're going to change the wave height to three. Now we're going to set the direction to zero and the wave speed to four. Next, we're going to click the pinning and select all edges. Lastly, we're going to click on anti-aliasing and click on high. Now we're going to get to the juicy part. Let me go ahead and close all this down real quick and add solid composite. Click on the color and I'm going to go ahead and type down this code so I can get this dark green. And now I'm going to switch the blending mode to luminosity. The next effect we're going to add is minimax and we're going to set the radius to one. Next, we're going to add noise and we're going to set the amount to either in the range of 10 to 20 percent. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 20 percent and I'm going to go ahead and click this use color noise this next one is totally optional but i think it helps solve the effect it's called venetian blinds go ahead and set the transition completion to six and change the direction to 90 and now we're going to go to the width right here and we're going to change it to five and the feather to one all right now we're going to add curves and follow my graph i'm just going to click a point right here on this and I'm going to click a point up here and I'm going to go ahead and drag this one up to boost up those highlights. Now to get rid of that oversaturated green, we're going to go ahead and add a hue slash saturation. And we're going to change the master saturation to minus 68. Keep in mind, your footage is going to be way different than mine. So just play around with those settings. And well, I'm going to go back to curves and I'm going to boost it up a little bit. Now I'm just going to close that down. And next we're going to add DC vignette and we're going to change the amount to 291. I'm going to go ahead and change the angle of you a little bit down and boom we're done if you guys do have sapphire you guys can add s underscore jpeg damage and just copy down my settings thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one